Hello, potential home buyers. Today we're going to talk about the cost of home ownership. And then if you want to read in greater depth about all of the information related to the cost of home ownership, just follow the link down below in the first pinned comment and also in the description. So the first thing you need to understand is that owning a home is definitely different than renting. I know a lot of it, people are complaining about the costs that they have with the rent, especially lately with the rental costs and uh, fees in, in being increased over the last few years. But you, you should definitely understand what it costs to own a home. Uh, so the first thing is, is when you're going to purchase the home, you're going to have a, uh, a down payment. So depending on the loan program you're going for, your down payment, for example, on an FHA loan could be 3.5% of the purchase price. If it's a $200,000 home, that's $7,000. Then you need closing costs, which could be anywhere from 2 to 5% of the, uh, the purchase price. Now, FHA loans also allow for the seller to contribute towards closing costs, and there's a way to have your, um, your lender pay for those closing costs for an increased rate. We've got a whole article on that too. So then you're gonna have homeowner's insurance. After you finally close on the home and you have all your closing costs taken care of, you have annual homeowner's insurance anywhere from $750 up to $2,000 depending on the type of home and where it's located. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have home, uh, taxes, property taxes. That could be a few thousand dollars and usually the taxes and the homeowner's insurance are all rolled up in, into your mortgage, mortgage payment, so your lender uh, servicer will take care of those disbursements for you. You're going to have um, uh, HOA, Homeowners Association dues, if you live in a condo or if you live in a uh, townhome or in a community of single-family homes that are part of an association. So if you're looking for lower payments, maybe look for a property that's not, that, does, that does not have an HOA. Um, you're going to have moving costs that come into play if you are if you can't move by yourself and you don't have uh, friends and vehicles to move your things, you may have to pay for moving. Uh, you're going to have just general expenses to ho own a home and, and repairs, general maintenance. You know, you, if you're renting someplace in an apartment, you don't have a lawnmower and now you have a house with grass. Now you need that type of equipment unless you want to pay for a service to come do it for you, which you can do. A service might cost you $35 to $50 uh, per month, uh, per week, or every time they come service your lawn. So, or you can buy the equipment. You're gonna have home repairs. Depending on how old the home is that you're buying, you may have home repairs coming up, and this is why the, in the inspection that you're paying for, hopefully you're getting one, is important because it gives you an idea as to the repairs that may be needed and some of the ones may not be that visible to you as you just walk through the home when you're touring. So uh, these are some of the, the basic things that, that you're going to have to be uh, mindful of. Now the cost for all these things are going to vary which is why I cannot sit here and just tell you what each of these things cost but all of the costs on the home are, are on you as the homeowner versus you as the renter. So you need to keep this into consideration and if you want to get a quote and have someone sit down and talk to you about what all these costs would look like for you in real dollars for your specific scenario, then just fill out the, uh, follow the link down below in the, uh, in the first pinned comment and also the description. If you're watching this on the website, then just fill out the form, uh, the contact form and someone will get back to you. Appreciate you watching today. Have a great day.